We are starting a practical driving exam on a beautiful sunny day in August 2022. The questions uh, that the driving student needed to answer uh, were please switch on Ablendlicht, please switch on Fernlicht, and how many millimeters do you need uh, the profile, the treat on your wheels? And the answer was yes, right, 1.6 millimeters. So we were leaving the TÜV property to the right side and we turned right again. You probably know the streets already from other exams. And here we wanted to go straight, which means we needed to check the left side and then we could go on driving. Then please follow the priority road. Mirror, indicator right, blind spot and a nice turn to the right side. Pedestrian way is free. Then obstacle on the right side. No oncoming traffic, mirror, indicator, blind spot and a nice right side distance. At the traffic lights, please go on straight. And then please turn right the next street. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Mirror, indicator, blind spot and turn. It's an automatic car. It's our blue Audi A3 driving school car, which is an automatic car. That means no clutch, no shifting. By the way, the car is from the Audi dealer you see on the left side. Please turn right. You see the stop sign placing the car as far right as possible that no bicycle can sneak through the gap we leave. He closed the gap on the right side. Then the chance that the bicycle is sneaking and passing by on the right side is very low. But nevertheless, you have to check with mirror and blind spot before you turn because also pedestrians can fit on the right side and we don't want to hurt them. Partnership, the truck was uh, coming out and we were waiting even if we have the priority. The truck is turning left but we wanted to go straight. The traffic light was green but now it's jumping to red light. If you remember, we were coming from the left side where the white BMW is waiting and going straight, turning two times to the right side and we are back in the same intersection. We are on the main road of uh, Hofheim am Taunus. You can see on the right side the priority sign and the speed limit is 50 inside this city. 
That's why we don't get extra 50 signs, because this is a basic rule and you have to know that. That's basic knowledge. If you start with driving lessons, please know that the basic speeding rule in the city is 50. And if you thought it is 30, then you have to wonder why do we have 30 signs, uh, 30 zones in the side streets, then it wouldn't make sense to put extra 30 uh, signs. So the basic rule is 50 and in the side streets very often 30. So we need to follow the priority road. It's going to the left side and if you have a look at the signs to go straight, it's no entry, you see? So if the examiner doesn't say where we go, it's better to follow the priority road because if you go straight, you will fail. And because we were following the priority road, we are still on the priority road. But as a confirmation, they of course put the priority signs on the right side that we keep that in our mind. Then we need to go straight because we need to see the highway. Highway driving. And you see, waiting time is exam time. So every red traffic light is exam time, but no rolling time, which is good. And now we go on with the rolling time. And many students ask, what happens if we are in a traffic jam during the exam and we are standing there for 30 or 40 or one hour <laughs> 30 minutes 40 minutes or for one, for one hour the answer is very easy if you already did a lot in your exam and the examiner is convinced that you can get the license then you get your license if you just started your driving exam and you went directly to the highway like we probably do here we were just doing a little loop in Hofheim and then direct way to highway and if we now come to a traffic jam and standing there for two hours the exam will not be passed after we uh, go on after the traffic jam after the two hours waiting time in the traffic jam we need to <laughs> Uh, we need to show the examiner some uh, skills and then he is convinced and then he gets the license. So it's not just about the time is running down. The skills also need to be shown by the student. So Frankfurt Highway, please. It's the second street on the right side. Here you get a split. We should take the right lane immediately. Then no one else can sneak and pass us on the right side. But do not turn the first street right. It's just a yellow sign with the, uh, with the city name Kriftel. 
and on the direction board it was written the second street right to highway Frankfurt so you need to search the blue signs and here on top you can see the A66 highway Frankfurt direction is here straight waiting time is exam time <laughs> green traffic light and we go on so from here you should start indicating because 150 meters earlier you have the direction board and then it's good to start indicator red traffic light which means we are not using the giveaway sign you can already see on the right side ignore that please it's a green traffic light so no one else has green light when we go here if you break here at the line you cause an accident on the backside probably because nobody expects that so from the right indicator from the turn we need to switch to the left indicator a nice slow speed in the curve and now hard acceleration immediately check the left mirror see how it develops and then a nice change to the rightest lane of the highway indicator off and keep smiling now check the speed it's a little bit slowly don't hesitate to overtake someone it's it's good to do as you probably and hopefully trained in your lessons if you just follow a truck with a speed of 90 or 95 yeah what's the skill <laughs> anybody can do this but using the mirror um, deciding if they are too fast or if you can do it to take a spot to overtake then use the indicator blind spot nice change overtake wait a little bit until you uh, move back you need distance to the back car you have overtaken that's if you do this once or twice it's perfect And we often only take one exit. Uh, we drive on the highway, driving a little bit, next exit we go off. We are not going for vacation. Uh, here we have a truck in front of us, but we want to take the next exit. He decided to start overtaking. It's a 1000 meter sign before the exit, but behind us was free and he was uh, seeing earlier that there were, were only two trucks with a permanent speed of 95 no problem and before the 500 meter sign we are back but here you also can decide to stay behind the trucks if you already know that you want to leave indicator right you have the priority wait for the line blind spot and change early release the accelerator and break down to the speed of yeah, 50 to 60 is often a very good speed for the first curve you are taking in the exit. Please go on to Königstein, Bad Soden, Liederbach. It's two lanes going to the left side and uh, I would recommend staying on the right of two lanes. It's not forbidden to take the left one but the right is better because behind your turn you are outside the city and you are on the right lane and you don't need to remember that there is the rule that if you do not overtake someone that you have to take the right lane by law so if you start your left turn in the left lane you have to finish in the left lane after your turn and then you have to remember to change back to the right side and the driving schools are not accelerating so much like the other so you probably see in your right mirror all the time people overtaking illegally on the right side it's more difficult but he remembered my words probably and he was staying on the right of two lanes and we finish in the right of two lanes and then we just enjoy and you see 
everyone else is faster than the driving school. But overtaking on the left side is a legal thing, no problem. Please take the next exit. So the white car was seeing us, he was accelerating how he should, nice and hard, and he is clearly in front of us, no problem for us. Right side, you can see the 300 meter sign from here, you start the indicator. A little car breakdown on the right side. And this is a combination with the construction, but we are leaving the street before we reach the construction, but we have to fulfill the speeding signs for the construction. It's 60 and then we are away from the other road and that's why it's strange now to see the 80 before because you have 60 now you have the 80 and then you go back to 60 but without construction before we have no speed limit that means you're coming from the faster speed going down to 80 and here you have the 60 and then everything is all right. Now it's it looks confusing because of the construction 60, then up to 80 and then back to 60. At the next traffic lights, please turn right. And you see the big yellow direction board from here. You use mirror, indicator, blind spot and change with the speed of 60. Release the accelerator and brake down for a nice speed. 15 to 20 would be the normal speed, but here the curve is a little bit bigger so you can drive this curve also with the speed of 30 but not if it's red light then we wait green traffic light so use mirror blind spot and turn Please go on straight. Here you see it's a right turning lane, mirror blinker blind spot and we are in the straight lane. I said blinker, you know that. Blinker is turn light, signal light, indicator. Please take the third exit, die dritte Ausfahrt aus dem Kreisel wieder herausfahren. That's second, third. And then left, please. As a left turner, you have to watch out for oncoming traffic. Only the motorcycle is coming. The mirror, blind spot, and always a huge bow, a huge arc into the left street. It's a dead end. Please find a place to turn around. Nothing e easier than that. It's just a big circle you have to drive. And if you do a circle like this, you just pretend you're turning left. Mirror, indicator, blind spot. And then you make a 180 degree turn instead of a 90 degree left turn. Then we go right. It's right before left. We don't have to check a lot if we stay on the right of the uh, of the next street, street like here you don't need to check a lot then we go back to the roundabout and we are leaving the roundabout in the first exit so checking the left side of the roundabout and of course pedestrians earlier and indicator blind spot no pedestrians and leaving and turn right at the lights 
you can overdrive the letters B U S for bus. It's not a bus lane. It's just uh, it's just telling you that there's the bus stop. Outside the city, 60 speed limit. This is um, country road, and by law, we have to stay in the right of two lanes because overtaking is only allowed in, on the left side, and we keep the left lane free. And now we want to enter the city of Bad Soden, which is the city in front of us, and from two lanes, it will uh, only go straight in one lane. The right lane will uh, turn right at the second lights from here and if you already know that because you are well prepared in this area to drive it's no problem you already start checking the mirrors from here how it develops on the left side it's also not a failure if you know that and you are already now in the left of the two straight lanes no problem he was deciding to stay here on the right side. It's a little more difficult because at a red traffic light some cars are coming from behind. Yeah, and then the direction board, the yellow direction board on the right side tells you the right lane is turning right and the straight lane is going straight and you have the arrows on the ground and if you check properly and indicate it's no problem to change. But if you don't indicate, you don't tell the other cars on the left side that you want to change, then they don't know it. So if you if you wait with your indicator, you're lost. Nobody knows that. We are back in the city. Speed limit is 50. We didn't park yet, right? So please turn left. We need to see the side streets. Oncoming traffic far away, big arc to turn, no problem. The 30 sign is a little bit hidden in the tree. No priority signs right before left, slow down, look at it. <clears throat> and enjoy. Right before left again. And you see oncoming car is, is coming down the hill and we have the obstacle, we have to wait. And one car fits behind the right before left. If there's another car parked, it doesn't fit, then you have to wait before in front of the right before left. Mirror, indicator, blind spot and going out. Please turn right. So we want to stop next to the blue car and do the reverse right parking. Indicator switch on, you can see reflecting in the black car. A little bit straight back, check the left side. Full right, watch out with the left front wheel that we don't hit the curbstone. Around 35, 45 degrees moving back with the hands and we are a little bit far away then we do the same check the left side a little closer to the right side adjusting with the left steering wheel and stopping if we are parallel and just aiming the number plate of the front car and telling the examiner fertig because how should he know that you are done probably you want to make correction front back left right wherever but if you tell him 
fertig, I'm done with it, or you say OK, then he can judge how it was, and then we go on. In this case, we really had luck with the examiner because he said after the parking. So you can switch into the P mode for parking, open the window a little bit, and take deep breath. We are almost done, and keep relaxed drive how you have driven and then you get your license when we are back in Bad Soden at the SO gas station. And that's very nice from him. Please turn right. Mirror indicator blind spot staying on the right side of the road. Being slowly because cars can come up but it's not a very big street and we want to turn left please oncoming traffic you can already see nobody there right side not very well visible so the approach speed is very slowly blind spot to the left side and a nice turn the car is coming he needs to wait in the spot the driving student is hesitating and giving him the time to wait that we do not need to go on the pavement because driving on the pavement is very often a failing point it's not our way of driving so you just have to wait a little bit and I would say as a student do not solve the complicated situations let the others do it right side wheelchair but he said yes go we can go so if there's a complicated situation you are a beginner so do not solve it let the others do it and then it's all free so oncoming traffic is waiting we have the obstacle and he rolls on and we also can go on perfect clean driving now we turn right slow speed looking into the street if no one is coming up because here only one car can fit that's why it's also important to be slowly and first of all you have to look into the street and then decide if we go in left here please check the right side blind spot turn and turn right on the left side you can see end of 30 zone and giveaway sign staying on the curbstone on the right side placing the car to the right side giving way and if it's free then you do your blind spot right side and staying on the right side of the white line then it doesn't matter if a car is coming from the right side up because they generally uh, drive on the left side of the line pedestrian way is clearly free no problem then another pedestrian way also clearly free and behind the construction is is another pedestrian crossing it's not clearly free right side someone is waiting <laughs> waiting waiting <laughs> eh, eh, eh. That was close. That was close. She was not invisible. She was waiting and our speed was so high that she was not sure if we are stopping or not. She was not start she did not start walking. And in the in the very 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 last moment he was almost doing an emergency break. He was almost doing a full break. That was close. And, and two minutes before we are at the SO gas station, we will see what problems this will cause. Green light, let's go. And the next traffic light, we turn right, please.
Then we drive into the roundabout and take the opposite side as an exit, which is by the sign the first exit. But uh, if you have a look at it, it's the second exit. The first exit is Tegut Parking Place. It's an exit. We can call it exit because you can drive out. But we take the second exit. Here we go out. And then go to the Esso gas station and stop the car in the back corner. So that was really, really hard to decide. It was everything almost perfect. But with the pedestrian in the green dress, it was so close. But because everything was clean, it was a fairly <laughs> fast driving exam.